The Mabel's scrapbook shorts go back to telling sort of longer form super condensed versions of the kinds of stories that this show would normally tell, like earlier shorts in this series did, just rather than the normal neutral POV that those shorts gave us, the same normal neutral POV that we got during the show itself. These last two shorts are told from Mabel's point of view. They're some of her favorite memories of things that didn't make it into the series proper. And all of them involve her family, which I guess she considers Seuss part of her family, which is pretty cool. Because Mabel is the point of view character for these, I actually kind of question if these are entirely accurate to what actually happened, which is interesting, and I'll touch on that in a minute. The first of these shorts, Heist Movie, is about after the entire family is banned from the local movie theater for Mabel having a single candy bar in her pocket. Banned forever, mind you, which is absolutely ridiculous in this scenario. The four of them working together to break into the theater get up into the projection box and still watch the movie that they came to see, a sort of hybrid of My Little Pony and a summer action blockbuster. And none of the stuff that they do in this story is beyond the realm of absurdity that this show normally shows us. But there are certain things that I wonder if Mabel didn't embellish a little bit. Obviously Dipper would be the one to come up with the plan, he is the plan maker of this group, he always has been. And obviously Stan would be the one to actually break them into the building because of course he would, that's just what his role in this scenario would be. But stuff like Mabel submerging herself completely in a vat of icy syrup to make herself sticky enough to climb up the walls and execute her part of the plan could just be Mabel's wishful thinking. She might have convinced herself in hindsight that that's what she did when the writers could have just had her use her grappling hook or something. We really have no way of knowing, but I do think that Mabel would embellish stories like this. She has done that kind of thing in the past. And honestly, if she did, I think that's even funnier. I mean, if you think about it, it's possible that most of this didn't actually happen. It's possible that there was a lot more drama involved or that the plan failed in the end. We don't really know. We only have what Mabel told us and the few pictures that she took of the occasion to inform us of what happened. I mean, it's interesting because I didn't find this short to be particularly funny. It was amusing more than anything else, but it actually has left me thinking. I don't know, it's kind of crazy for as short form as this story was. Not gonna lie though, despite all that, this was not one of my favorite shorts. I think it's actually one of the weakest ones, but even being the weakest of a group of stories which run the gamut between good and great means that this was a good short, it was still fun, and it was still charming, and I enjoyed watching it. As per usual though, I'd like to know what did you guys think of the heist movie short, if you have seen it. Let's get a discussion going in the comment section down below, or over on my Discord, link in the description. But either way, this has been AJ22, and I will talk to you guys later.